In this video, we will try to solve a numerical on the impact of the uh, government subsidy on the demand and labor for supply. The question is like this. Uh, suppose demand for labor is given by that is L is equal to minus 50W plus 450 where L and W are the uh, labor and wage rate per hour. And supply is given as 100W, L is equal to 100W. We are being told to find that is uh, suppose uh, the government wishes to raise the equilibrium wage to 4. So uh, that means uh, the government wants to intervene in the market by offering a subsidy to employers for each person hired okay so we have to find what will be the new equilibrium level of employment and how much subsidy will be paid so we will see how to solve this first we will see what is the equilibrium uh, condition uh, before uh, the government intervention that is for equilibrium as we know uh, labor supply should be equal to labor demand okay so what is our uh, labor supply labor supply is equal to 100 w it should be equal to labor demand that is minus 50 w plus 450 okay so here we can see uh, we can transpose this will become 150 w is equal to 450 or our w is equal to 450 divided by 150 that is equal to uh, 3 okay so before the government intervention so i will uh, draw the graph here also uh, let us say we have wage rate on the vertical axis and number of laborers employed on the horizontal axis so equilibrium will occur this is our labor supply which is equal to 100 w and our labor demand is given by that is uh, 450 is the intercept okay this is our labor demand which is so i will not write here this is our labor demand so we got equilibrium level of wage before government intervention was three and number of laborers employed would be equal to we put w is equal to three in our labor supply uh, function that is 100 into in place of w we have three that is 300 okay before the government intervention uh, wage rate was three and number of laborers employed was 300 okay now uh, the impact of the subsidy uh, would be reflected in the shift in the demand okay so uh, the impact here would be since the uh, government is offering subsidy so our demand curve will shift and here uh, it is been told that the equilibrium uh, wage level should rise to four that means this labor uh, demand will shift towards right and our new equilibrium wage rate which is four okay our new equilibrium uh, wage rate is here four as a result of government subsidy we have to find uh, we have to find what would be uh, the number of laborers uh, employed here okay for that what will we do our uh, new demand for labor would be equal to that is our labor uh, demand curve would be minus uh, 50 okay times w minus the subsidy given that is i will denote it by s okay plus 450 this is the new this is the new labor uh, demand okay when the government is offering a subsidy of s okay so what will we do we will uh, equate this new labor demand with uh, the supply curve that is l is equal to 100 w okay so for new equilibrium new equilibrium we will i will show you l uh, l, uh, l dash is the new labor demand and we will uh, equate it with the labor supply okay with this line so for equilibrium demand should be equal to supply that means minus 50 w minus s uh, plus 450 should be equal to what is our old uh, labor supply that is 100 
W. Okay, and here uh, it is been given that the government wants to raise the equilibrium wage to four. That means our W is four here. Okay, so here W is four now. Okay old it was a uh, three now because the government wishes to raise the equilibrium wage to four that means w is equal to four now solving we have minus 50 uh, w in place of w we have four minus s plus 450 should be equal to 100 into the value of w is four i will write here four okay let me change the color so minus uh, uh, 50 into 4 is minus 200 uh, minus into minus is plus s plus 450 should be equal to 100 into 4 is 400 now what will we do here this is 200 this will become 4 plus 2 is 600 oh sorry here it is minus uh, uh, my uh, sorry plus uh, 50 into s is 50 50s okay so solving for s we have 50s is equal to 400 transposing other terms plus 200 minus 450 okay that means uh, 50s is equal to 4 plus uh, 400 plus 200 is equal to 600 600 minus 450 which implies uh, 50s is equal to 150 or s is equal to 100 150 divided by 50 which comes out to be 5 ones are 5 threes are so we got here s is equal to 3 that is a subsidy offered by government is 3 okay since there are now and uh, when s is equal to 3 subsidy uh, given is 3 we have to uh, find the laborers employed also okay so uh, for that uh, why do we get this since uh, labor supply is new equilibrium wage rate is was our so i will write here um labor supply was uh, 100 w and new equilibrium wage rate was four okay so labor supply or our number of laborers employed would be equal to 100 into four which is equal to 400 okay that means at a uh, four wage rate our equilibrium uh, uh, rather the number of uh, laborers employed would be equal to 400 so what will be the new equilibrium level of employment it is 400 okay now how much subsidy will be paid okay since there are now uh, 400 laborers as a result of government intervention okay that means the total uh, government the total uh, subsidy government pays would be equal to that is total subsidy subsidy paid would be equal to number of laborers employed which is equal to 400 times the subsidy okay which is equal to 400 times 3 which is equal to 1200 okay so the for the second part we have 1200 okay I hope I make myself clear so I will repeat here we were given the labor and demand supply okay uh, uh, functions and we were told if the government wants to raise the equilibrium wage rate to four by offering subsidy to employers for each person hired okay then what will be the new equilibrium level of employment and how much subsidy will be Paid. so first we uh, solve for the old equilibrium that is for this equilibrium what is the equilibrium wage rate it is 3 and equilibrium number of laborers employed is 300 after that uh, since 
the government is offering subsidy to the employers our new demand function would look like this that's l dash is equal to minus 50 times uh, what is the wage rate and to this we uh, subtract the amount of subsidy given by the government plus 450 and after that we equate this new demand function with our supply function and when solving we got s is equal to 3 also since uh, wage rate was 4 new uh, that uh, uh, that wage rate which uh, the government wishes to have so number of uh, laborers employed would be simply 100 times w and in place of w we have 4 so 100 into 4 is equal to 400 okay and the amount of subsidy is simply the number of uh, laborers employed times the subsidy which was 3 4 into 3 400 into 3 which is equal to 1200 i hope i make myself clear thank you